And the long term goal is to get off the streets for good. And for some who used to be homeless, doing that meant putting on their runny shoes. You can expect to see him hit the pavement this weekend at the LA Marathon. NBC4's John Caddis Klimak has their story. It's a life no one can understand unless they've lived it. Can't watch you die. Those are the last words Ben Shirley says his friends said when they basically dumped him on the stairs outside the Midnight Mission in 2012. I stumbled in as the head guy was walking out, punching out, and for some reason he saw this animal in front of him and he took me upstairs. And there it was. That was the start of everything. Everything. All he had experienced as literally a rock star. Signed with a record label, all the money, cars, girls, and everything he says came with it. Alcohol, heroin, pills, and whatever. No one cares if you drink or use as long as you can perform. Skid Row was rock bottom until a man who wears a robe by day and running shorts by night walked into the mission. Judge Mitchell comes along and I hate him. You know, he's a judge. And I, my old lifestyle says you're the police and you're the cops. and. I hate you. But Judge Craig Mitchell had an idea, a running club where drug addicts can escape for a much different high. Running was a, a natural good fit for where they were in their life. Even now, as tents line the streets, the Skid Row Running Club pounds the pavement. You've got to get past the tents. You've got to get past the squalor. People who are on Skid Row, who are in recovery, are oftentimes pretty lonely. They burnt a lot of bridges with their family, employers, relationships have sort of fallen apart. And to create a sense of community uh, is really important to give one the mental fortitude to succeed. Ben and 24 others in the club will run the LA Marathon again this weekend, running the great equalizer among them. You can be a superior court judge, you can be a millionaire, you can be a poor guy. Mile 20, that levels the playing field. Shirley is now a composer for TV and film, clean and sober. All because the judge believed he could be. It's been one of the most meaningful chapters in my life. From downtown LA, John Kelly's Klimak, NBC4 News.